Hello, how are you? You know, every day, I always tell to myself that today I am going to be my best day. I'm going to treat this day as if it is my last day. So what I do usually do, if that's the case, if that's my my intention for that day, first, um, just want to tell you, just want to relate it to you. You might be doing this as well, but you know, so if I'm doing it, you're doing it, they were doing good, right? So um, if that's my perspective for the whole day of my life, when I get up, the first thing that I do is, of course, to thank the Lord that I was able to sleep so sound like a baby. Sometimes my husband said, oh, darling, you've been snoring. Really? I don't normally snore, but probably when I'm tired, when I'm really, when I'm really, yeah, busy for the whole day and went to bed so late. I always go to bed so late. He's been already sleeping for four hours <laughs> and I'm still there awake. I'm still doing my own stuff. And then, and then so when I, uh, of course, when I, when, when he gets up, I'm already, I'm still sleeping. And then he noticed that I am also snoring. I didn't know that, but lately, lately when I, I gain weight, probably I gain, um, I, I was already snoring. But then the first thing that I do in the morning when I get up, even when I'm still lying down, I'm already meditating. I'm already, um, reciting the Psalm 91. I'm already praying and then when I get up, I really thank the Lord that I was able to sleep so soundly like a baby, like I said a while ago. And uh, I didn't have insomnia, of course, because it's really a battle. If you go to sleep, then you cannot sleep because you have that insomnia. But thank God that I was so, I, I rested so quietly, peacefully, and I, I woke up the following morning full of strength, full of energy, full of good thoughts that I'm going again to do my day, treat my day as if it is my last. So when I get up, of course, I pray, I confess, I, I repent, I mean, I, I bless the Lord, I thank the Lord, I praise Him, I worship Him, I love Him, I declare who am I to Him, that I always declare that, thank the Lord, you made me so beautiful. Of course, I see myself as beautiful. If I don't see myself as beautiful, who else will say I'm beautiful? No one else, right? So I always declare, thank God, you made me so beautiful you made me so loving caring generous you know have that heart of compassion i'm declaring all the best that i wanted to be although i'm not yet in that in that position but i'm already declaring and because when i declare and decree the word of god says in job 22 28 i think or 28 or 22 it's something like that you can check when you declare a decree and declare a thing, it shall be established and the light of God shall shine on your ways. So I keep declaring that, thank God I'm so beautiful, thank God that you made me wonderfully and faith and fearfully, something like that, that thank God that I am I am a blessing and not a burden, thank God that I can do many things because of you, I can do all things through him who gives me strength, thank God that I'm, I'm happy even though there are so many storms, there are so many problems, I'm still happy because I'm choosing to be happy, Thank God that I weigh 60 kilos, even though I'm 65 or, or something like that. I am declaring the things that I want to be because I know that when you declare, when you decree a thing, it shall come to pass. And of course, I do, I do motivate myself as well to do that in order to achieve that. 60 kilos is so impossible for me, but with him, nothing is impossible, right? It's so hard to resist yummy foods. It's so hard to resist halo halo. Yesterday we went for um I, we had a date with my son. Uh, he had sisig and I had the pancit. And so tempting to have the halo halo, but I've eaten before that. That's why my tummy is already so like bloated already. We wanted to eat more halo halo, but then I said, 
uh, but then he said uh, it's up to you mama if you can still bear <laughs> but then i said okay we'll just buy we'll just buy halo halo in, in tin so we could just make it at home so that's what we did but then again like okay i'm going too far so when you declare a thing it shall come to pass but of course you help yourself to be able to attain that to attain what you are declaring and then what else do i do in order for me to be at my best i always think of three random acts of kindness that i will do on that day that i will be happy and i will make somebody happy like when you are in a group if you bring some some good thing to share something like that or you do something good to your husband to your son that's always i do and my husband and my son my children are always the beneficial and of course my boss as well and the, some of my friends they're all the beneficiaries of those act of kindness and when i go out there of course when i see somebody who's hungry that i knew he or he or she needs my help then i will go and buy her a sandwich or something but it's not always the case sometimes they complain but then you don't know you don't know what people want but then as long as i am fulfilling what i promised to myself that i'm going to do three random acts of kindness and what else of course while working i'm doing my best while working i'm thinking like uh, i'm meditating or something you know that to be uh to be idle you know while you're working and your mind is idle it's not good so you keep on thinking on what else you can do great on what else to make yourself happy just by doing or um fulfilling something that you promise to yourself that will give glory to the lord that will represent him in everything that we do and whatever we do so what else do i do i write down five things that i'm grateful about I'm grateful to my life, I'm grateful to my work, grateful to my family, grateful for having friends, happy friends who are there when um, even in thick and thin, they are there for you. Even when you fall short, you know, if you even commit sin against them, they are there for you. They are the friends that really God given friends because you know, true friends are really a gift from above. So I thank the Lord for having friends like those. I thank God for having boss who are so generous or so, or so uh, understanding as well. I thank my church. I thank God for so many things that I'm grateful for many things but i always thank the lord that i am complete that i could see i could talk i could taste the food that i'm see i am eating that i have i can walk without any crutches or something that i can freely move my hands and do and i could praise him all the rest of my life and i'm just loved to commit myself my whole day to him and then i finish my my journal because all of these are in journal my 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 um my my prayer my verses are all in my journal my declarations are all in there i declare positive i declare uh, the present situation of mine i declare the future all of those are all in written in my notebook and the random act of kindness i do write in there as well the five things that i'm grateful about all in there and to finish my devotion I do write the prayer that I want for that day. And, um, and when I'm done with that, I seal it with the prayer and thanking the Lord. So that starts my day. That sets the tone of my day for the whole day. And then I still have another notebook where I could write my to-do list to do this if um blah 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 if I finish something like this blah 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 and then when i do i do tick i do tick and then at the end of the day i go and visit my list if i've done all of that what that made me busy for the whole day right are you so busy now hearing all of those enumerations all of those statements that i'm i'm doing day by day but then that's how i make my day productive that's how i make my day like to be in my best and like treating it as if it is already my last and if there's some something like like conflict or something like that i i do I did try my best or like conflict with my husband or with anybody else. I do try to 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 be my best as well. <laughs> to ask for forgiveness if I'm the one in fault and even I'm not, I'm contributory to the conflicts. Then I do I I I, I do I do humble myself, something like that. And 
like really i want to be the best of course i should be understanding loving forgiving and apology <laughs> apologizing you know something like that so that's how i make my day and of course and what else i forget to mention and of course have um i uh, having list as well of people or niece or nephews or cousins or aunties that i need to reach out group chats from philippines my old friends from last time when i was yeah something like those i do put them on the list as well and try to do it like this time i want to reach out to my cousin who is in canada then maybe later on i will chat her and if there's a chance for us to talk then i will talk something like that it's all in my list and if there are things still that comes in my way while i i am i i'm not um aware then i just add it and just do it so the list that i've done i have to finish it and but if there are those like going out and remitting or sending money outside that i couldn't do that if i couldn't do it i will do the following day but for sure i'm making sure that all of those are done and that um I consider it as productivity during that day and of course God is never put aside because while I'm 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 while I'm working I have my cell phone with me I have my earphone and I'm listening to the scriptures that I like that I follow and that a continuous feeding of the goodness of the lord declarations and you know enriching empowering something like that that's why i truly count my day and treat my day as productive as it is as i wanted and god is so gracious because he makes it all happen thank god so i just wanted to share it to you and hope you can relay with me and if not probably give you an idea on how to make your day as well productive and fruitful uh, of course productive fruitful is the same and glorifying or giving glory to the lord to the king of kings and to the lord of lords amen so if you are wanting as well to be at your best then try doing that and try to commit yourself not try but strive to commit yourself to be really at your best state in every day of your life because every day is truly a great blessing from above god bless you happy friday and hope that you're looking forward to be on the sunday services and to receive again more and more from him that will make you for will make you the best and the best of your version too god bless you amen in amen